Welcome to Learning Control Systems. This is a video course on control systems engineering. Uh, this is not like college where you have different equations. This is all simple math and simple science, and it is designed for the control systems engineer who is trying to get his professional engineer's license, as well as the technician who's trying to get the certified control systems technician certification and instrumentation for the ISA certified control systems technician exams. This material is not complex, it is easy to understand, and it spans both disciplines. This is a video series to accompany my book, the Control Systems Engineering Exam Reference Manual, a Practical Study Guide. And it's in the fourth edition right now. It's from ISA and it's the recommended material to study for the NCES PE Professional Engineers exam in Control Systems Engineering for the Principles and Practices exam. And we'll be using this book extensively throughout this course. It is recommended material by ISA and the NCES for this examination. To purchase this book, go to httpsisa.org slash CSE reference, or to preview the book, go to http learncontrolsystems.com slash preview, or just click on the links below. ISA also has the CSE study guide, which is a practice exam. It has 80 questions. Uh, it simulates a morning and afternoon exam. I highly recommend you get this book and take this exam. This sample exam will prep you for the real exam and give you an edge for the real exam. Um, this will show you a lot of your shortcomings. They also have a list of uh, recommended material you may want to study. With the certified electronics technician examination, they have a slogan. They say, we don't say good luck. It's just a matter of knowing your material. It's important you know this material before you take this exam. Even though this course will focus on the PE CSE control system engineering exam, uh, most of this material is very applicable to the CAP certified automation professional and the CCST certified control systems technician. I try to parallel all this information and I tell you the difference of when it'll be on the CSE and when it'll be on the CAP and when it'll be on the CCST. Uh, but almost all this information I cover is applicable to all these courses. Some of you may wonder, uh, what are my qualifications to teach this course? Well, I'm a professional engineer in control systems engineering. Uh, I passed my exam in 2004. I'm a certified manufacturing engineer in integration and control. I passed the manufacturing engineer in 2003. I'm a journeyman electronic technician and industrial electronics. I passed the CET in 1994. I'm a certified control systems technician, level three. That takes 13 years. I passed that in 2003. I'm also a certified automation professional. I passed that 2017. And I'm also a uh, state of Texas master electrician. I've been a master electrician in the state of Texas since 1985. I got my first license in Galveston, Texas, 1985. Um, I have 30 years experience and four letters recommendation from major engineering companies. I worked in petrochemical, pharmaceutical, food processing, pipeline on compressor stations, Comanche Peak Nuclear Steam Station. And in 1985, I worked at the Johnson Space Center on the powerhouse edition and the grounding of the computers. These videos are to cover what the ISA videos don't cover. Uh, basically, theory and review of the information you may have had in college or didn't receive in college. Uh, all, most of these videos have uh, sample questions throughout the video that you might find on the exam. So be sure to watch all the videos. It's pretty helpful. So uh, that's about it. Let's get started and get into the videos. Bye.